I am live and it's been a long time but I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes to see if anybody else is out there it is my glasses off <laughs> it is 4 58 in the p.m. so let me just see if I can stall a little and see if I can get some some of you guys out there to join in on this it's just gonna be a small Dollar Tree haul so I'm gonna wait a few moments. There's nothing exciting here today. I just wanted to go ahead and get it hauled so it doesn't uh, stack up on me. And, um, you know, just sit here and the stuff gets old because a couple of things I really want to show you guys so that you can have it for possibly Father's Day if you're looking for a Father's Day gift item. So I am going to give it maybe, let's see, I said it's about five, four fifty nine my time i'm on the west coast let's give it to uh 505 maybe maybe i can stall and talk to you that long until we can see if i can get a few more people up in here um you know and i don't expect it because you know i'm never um hey dana how are you i am well it is good to see you i'm glad i caught someone today because you know I'm bad about scheduling these things. In fact, I should have never said every Wednesday. I should have just said whenever I have an opportunity and the energy and the time to come on here. But today is when one o'clock. I hope that doesn't keep going off. Um, yeah, that's my five o'clock quitting time <laughs> alarm, but I got off at three today. So yeah, today is when one Wednesday and um, so it's only fitting that I come on today because I wanted to say, wow, one Wednesday. Is that supposed to be win one Wednesday, Dana? <laughs> and speaking of which, the fact that you put wow one Wednesday, I wanted to say, can you guys believe it has been 30 weeks since I've been doing it? I've been giving away stuff for 30 weeks without fail consistently. I think that's pretty doggone amazing. Um and when I was doing the, uh, yeah, I agree, Dana. It's just been, and I think I started giving the cash away. Um, I feel like I started that in, did I start in January or December? But anyway, it's been a minute and a lot of you guys have been winning multiple times. So good for you, for those of you who have been entering correctly. And while we're on the subject, not to stall, but let me just say this about Win One Wednesday, because today is Win One Wednesday. The video went up this morning. And in that video, a lot of you guys are forgetting to go to the linked video and put that same comment on the linked video. You're, you're putting a comment on the Win One Wednesday video, but not the linked video. And when you don't put it on both, then I can't give you the heart by your name on the win one Wednesday to enter you. So that's why a lot of the same people have been winning because they're the only ones doing it correctly. So for example, last week I had eight entries, which actually is a lot in comparison to what's been happening. And only four people did it correctly. So I could only enter four people and it's the same people who are doing it correct. So you guys look at the two minute video that comes out, find the linked video and go to that video and put the same comment on the linked video, win one Wednesday and your name on the win one Wednesday video. So you're going to do it two times. Now, I don't know if this is confusing to people or if you're just forgetting or you just don't want to enter every week because you think you're being greedy or something like that. I promise you, it is okay. I will never think that that's what you're supposed to do. So just, I can't stress this enough. If you don't put that comment on the Win One Wednesday video and the linked video, you won't get your heart and you won't be entered. And I want to see some of you guys win, but you're not doing it right. So, and I have to follow the rules because if I don't, it won't be fair to the people who are doing it correctly. So enough of that, 502. All right, so let me just go ahead and jump. This is going to be, like I say, a short haul. And just to say hi, I haven't done a haul with you guys. Is that Tracy? Tracy, oh my gosh, long time no see. Talk to you. How are you doing? I am doing well. Tracy, or Tracy, it's pronounced. 
Tracy is from my natural hair days. And I have seen that you have gone to sister locks, I think, Tracy, and they look great and your hair has gotten so long. But it's good to see you. Thanks for joining today. Um, I'm here to do a quick Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> yeah, it's great to see you, Tracy. Um, I check you out from time to time. I do when I'm going through, because today there's so much to watch on social media. And I have subscriptions to so many, but a lot of times I'll go back and I'll think about people. And I'll be like, how are they doing? Because I've, I've been all over YouTube. I've done the natural hair. I've done the extreme couponing. I've done the Dollar Tree hauls. I do the gift ideas. But I'm that type of person that I just need to do something like consistently. And if I get bored with doing something, then I want to switch to something else. So I think I'm good as far as adding. Actually, I'm not. I'm probably going to be adding something new too. But <laughs> I get once I master something, then I want to learn something new. So, all right. So without further ado, I think I've stalled. It's 5.04. Um, I always squint and my glasses are right here. Yeah, it's 5.04, so I've waited almost the five minutes. I actually have waited the five minutes because it was 4.59. So let's jump into this little quick, quick, quick Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, I wanted to get these items hauled just in case. There's one item here that I want to show you guys in case you want to, in case you're looking for a, yes, I got uh, great locks on looking for something different too i know the fee <laughs> yeah it's like and there's such a big community commu there's so many communities on youtube so there's always something to get off into so and i'm always looking to find something that piques my interest so good luck finding something new whatever it is let me know so i can support you tracy whatever your new endeavor may be all right so now jumping into this haul the um as i was saying um, I do have an item here that I want to share with you guys in case you're looking for a cute, cheap Father's Day uh, gift idea. Um, <laughs> all right, Tracy. Um, a cute Father's Day gift idea. Uh, I wanted to share one with you that I think would be perfect and definitely looks far more expensive than the gift I'm, than what the gift I'm going to show you, the gift idea I'm going to show you is. But to start, let me just start off my video correctly. How do I start off? Hello, and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. And if we have, it's always good to see you again. So let's jump into this haul. Um, the first thing I want to show you is what I had in the thumbnail are these cute little bath sponges. And they were in the baby department and they, they were just too cute to pass up. And if you are looking for or putting together any type of baby shower or new baby gift idea or gift that you're giving to someone these would make a perfect item to throw in and just cuten it up that much more and they're about this thick they have a very uh soft um scrub part on the back not too hard not too abrasive so it's very gentle i guess is what i'm trying to say and it's just so cute. They had other styles, but these were the two that I thought were the cutest. This for a boy, this for a girl. The pink one was a pig. And I have never really liked a pink pig anything. It, I don't know. It just pink. I don't know. I just don't like it in a pig. It just doesn't send the same message to me. Anywho. So moving on, they had this cute little, um, what do they call this? Glam mesh or gem mesh. They had this cute little uh, ribbon in gems, and I hadn't seen this before, and I thought it was definitely different. Very bright, colorful. Tell me if I did it right. I will, Dana. I will let you know. Um, if you don't see a heart by your comment on the Win One Wednesday video, that's how you know you didn't do it right. You know you did that one right, but the linked video is not right. In most cases, people don't put it right on the linked video. If you can just cut and paste what you put on the win one video on the linked video, you'll be good just to simplify it. But yeah, I like this lace, this gym lace, because it, um, and it's, let's see, it definitely feels like fabric, but I, you know, it's the shiny, it's the blingy, it brings a little color and sparkle to any gift you might use it for. So I'm always drawn to this sparkle, cute, colorful type of stuff. The next item, um, 
in that live Dollar Tree haul that I tried to do um, Sunday, that was a fail. I put fail because the quality was poor and I was hoping that it was going to come through like this because that would have been perfect for me because it pretty much held the connection. But um, the it just was too grainy for me. So that's why I deemed that a fail. You could kind of make things out, but not like this. And when you're showing products and items, you really want people to be able to see it. So in that video, however, is where I found they had another eyeshadow palette and it was called Smokey. And I'm going to go ahead and open this one up now so that you can see um, what it looks like. We have an idea from the last one that I bought that I opened that said Rebel. So this is the Smokey. I thought I lost you guys for a second, but that won't be bothering us anymore. <laughs> okay, so here's the Smokey palette. And um, it opens up just like the other one. It's a hard cardboard is clear right here the mirror is here at the top this is just see-through like you can see my eyes right there and it just uh, lets you peek into this palette that has those colors very nice smoky eye colors very natural and uh, earthy looking colors and then it of course has the two-ended applicator with the sponge tip here and then the brush tip here and then that just plops right in there and then the other part that was misleading was when it's closed they look that small but opening up you see how much uh, product you get in each color so this would go great with the other one especially for someone who wears makeup um, these two palettes I think would be great for like a teeny bopper or somebody just learning how to wear makeup to put this back together so yeah so i found this additional palette and when i first saw it i actually thought it was the same one that i had already hauled but to my surprise it was not okay the next item that i found was in the health and beauty they had this toothpaste this colgate maximum cavity protection toothpaste the reason i got it was because of this pump applicator i've never had this before how does this come off Okay, so and I was just curious as to how this worked. That's why I got it. I just wanted to see because at the bottom, you see, it looks like a push-up. So I'm guessing as you mash this pump, this must su get sucked to the top. And let's see, is this how it works? Oops. Okay, so I guess that was supposed to come off. Something just fell off of here. Let me see. Oh, there you go. Did you see that? Let me show you. Woo! <laughs> so yes, that's how it works. In case anybody was wondering, there you go. Now let me just do this and make an even bigger mess. I'll clean this up later. But yeah, that's how that works. So that's kind of cool. So I can see how you're not having to squeeze a tube. You just pump it like that and it just goes on your toothbrush. So a much neater application besides that. That's but yeah, it's a lot better than the tubes. I think I think I would like it. They should make it in an adult version without little uh, kitty things, but probably it's for kids because they're so messy. But yeah, I would use that. I like how that works. So now I know after having made a big mess, um, I found uh, these cute little journal notebooks for to go with that other LOL stuff that I purchased. They had this cute little journal. And it says, you rock my world with some more of these little LOL dolls on it. And then this plastic lifts up and then there's a heart there. And then there are these little pictures, notebook pictures, and they're all the same spiral and it hangs like that. And does it say how many pages it has in here? Uh, no, it does not. But pro it probably does somewhere in here, but it's so tiny. But just so you can see the thickness of it. But yeah, that's cute. And that'll go with the other little L LOL. These glasses are not acting right today. Um, that goes with the other LOL stuff that I got. Now, this was something that I had seen hauled before. And I never was able to find them. And pretty much gave up until I ran across them Sunday in that live video. And this is the stylo pen, the smooth writing bright. It's the kind, it's like the old school where you dip it in the ink and then it has that glass tip that's shaped like kind of a 
pointed uh, end. So I always wondered how that worked. So I would love to play with these and see if I could actually write. Because this is the old school ink pens. This is how it began, you know, back way back in the day with just this little um, glass. I don't know if it was glass, but this, t this type of instrument to stick in the ink and then write with it. So I want to play with that and see what it's like. I just thought that would be something fun to play around with from uh, historical days. And then I got some items, again, to go with the other um, frozen items I bought. I just got this frozen night light. And I got these little hair pieces to go with the frozen bows. And I got these little ties like that. And then these clips with the bows on it. And then lastly, these ties. So I just got all of those to go with the little frozen stuff that I bought in the last haul. Now the idea that I wanted to show you for Father's Day, the items I should say, which I think are pretty surprisingly amazing quality. I don't know how they got these, but it's these mossy oak mugs. Look at that. Look at the quality of this mug. Look at how big it is. Look at how wide. Look at how nice the inside. And it's so big. It's like my whole fist can fit in there comfortably. And it just feels so good in your hand. This is definitely for a man. And then it's got the reindeer. And then this beautiful mint green color with a nice shiny ceramic uh, outer layer or covering topping not topping but covering so they had this one and then they had this one and look at how nice this one is this is like a wolf i think yeah i would say more like a wolf look at that and it really kind of feels like it could be for christmas but because um mossy oak brand is normally in the wilderness to me I wouldn't say necessarily this was for Christmas, but it could technically be because of maybe the green-ish and the red-ish. This is more like a, a deep cranberry color. But um, these are such great, great quality. And the idea that I had, well, the other items that I found to go with this idea are these um, Henry, I mean, Harry and David crackers. Now, if anybody knows anything about gifts and treats and gifts, Harry and David is the name. They are the staple for gift uh, ideas. And these are the chocolate, uh, chocolate, what do they call them? Wafer rolls. These are the chocolate wafer rolls. Hello, Ash Vlogs. How are you? Message retracted. Okay. <laughs> well, hello, if you're there, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining my live. Um, this is uh, the wafer rolls and chocolate. And then this is the wafer rolls and hazelnut. Hey, <laughs> you're welcome. Welcome aboard. I'm just doing a quick Dollar Tree haul. I think this probably is the first time I've ever spoken with you, so welcome. Um, but yeah, this is the hazelnut and this is the, um, the chocolate rolls. Now, look at the color of these. And then I'm going to show you how they look in the mugs. And this isn't just the only thing I'm suggesting, but here's this and here's this. Well, look at how well they go together. And if you remember, if you guys remember, um, where are they? You remember the mossy oak shirt? So you can take this shirt and roll this up or make it a flower if you know how to do some kind of fancy fold with it. And you can take this shirt and stick it in the mug and then stick the cracker or the wafer in there. You can make them fit. You can put them more on the top. I like your black, uh, black backed emoji. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll give you a good look of all of them. That's the whole family right there. <laughs> and I keep them here. This is my uh, guest room, so I keep them here undisturbed. Um, but I've had them with me for quite some time. But yeah, so if you can get these, look at this t-shirt and this cookie and this mug. The value of this mug alone online, if you search, I've, I found it for like $17. So that to me, if you just need a quick something, is a great gift. And it is great 
in terms of the quality, the gift, and the price, even though it looks like more than what it is. And then if you do the same thing on the green one, look at that, look at how the colors blend and everything. And this is the green box. So when I saw these, I'm like, that is just a gift waiting to happen for Father's Day. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, which is why I went ahead to went ahead and did this haul today because in case you can find those and you find, cause I know they just put these out. I just got these on Sunday out here and I've seen people on the uh, East coast haul them, but um, I'm just seeing them now on the West coast over here. So that's a great father's day gift idea. It looks like it costs a lot, but for $3 and 75 cents, if you can find all three of those items that I'm sure would make any man proud. I don't know why it wouldn't. And then this item here is a bugget. Is that what they call this? Bugget. And every time I see the packaging, it disturbs me because I see this dog on spider on there and it looks so real. Um, but yeah, I've never tried this gadget. It's a new gadget. And the way this works, uh, you're supposed to be able to use... Uh, I'm going to open it up real quick. You're supposed to be able to... glasses man stop it okay so this is what it looks like it pops out of this thing like that and it looks like it's telescoping so there you go stretches and then there's a button here to retract it i'm gonna guess this is should be the case oh wait what is this here's another one do that one first and then you do this one, I think. Let's see. Nope. Probably. I know it's definitely longer. So somehow it retracts back. And then this top part is an adhesive. Let me put on my glasses to see this. I think when you peel it off, there's probably 10 pieces on this one. So if I pull that, so if I pull this up, I feel this is sticky. And I'm wondering if this top one, okay. So that's how this works, this top one also. So when I'm ready to use it, I'll pull this top one off and this is sticky right there. And then you catch, catch the bug or spider with that first layer, however many you're gonna catch. And then when that fills up, you peel it off and there's one underneath now it says that extra 20 sheet included so i wonder if this top one includes 20. i'm gonna assume that the top one has 20 sheets and then this is the extra one that comes with it with 20 more and then you see on the back here it slides on you see how that just slides on so you probably just lift this up and then slide this one in to replace it so i'm gonna assume that's how that works so i bet you it's 20 sheets on each one so yeah this is kind of cool and then i guess from there you probably just throw it away because i don't know where oh and look at how the head tilts and goes up like that it's very uh rotatable so that's kind of cool so if you are allowed to if there's something right above you you can get it that way because, you know, spiders like to drop, and you can't always get them that way. So when you can just do it like that, and then they're on the top of you, that's kind of cool. Um, push. I know this must close. It's bothering me now because I can't get this thing. To, okay, there we go. I didn't push hard enough. So it does go all the way down. So there you go. So that's kind of neat to have. Even if you do only get 40 sheets in total, that's great to have. The only thing that's bugging me they got this spider on everything. This is just in, uh, like, uh, illustration, and it's still, ugh. So I wish that wasn't their logo. But, yeah, that's what the box looks like. And these are sold out. I, when I bought them, they had them in the front of the store. It was, like, the item of the week. And I've been back since, and they're all gone. And, you know, summer's coming up, so people are probably buying it for that purpose. Because um, the... the Freaks come out at night, so do the bugs. And bugs sometimes, I guess, can be freaks. 
So there's that. So if you see that and you don't want bugs in your house and you want an easy way uh, to get to them, then this is a great idea. And the best part of this idea to me is the fact that you can get them from a distance because I don't like to be close up on any bugs that I'm trying to catch. That's just no bueno for me. This thing won't go back in. All right, well, I don't know how to get it back in there, but... And then there's just one, two, three, four, five more items, and one of them is the same. Okay, so I found this Quaker chocolate oatmeal in the food section. It's only four packets in here. I don't like oatmeal, but let me tell you why I bought it. I bought this, and this is an idea for you guys to try these glasses, man. This is an idea for you guys to try today. I thought it was pretty genius. I made. I made a banana nut bread. And when I was making it, what happened? So, oh, that's not what I wanted to share, is it? Yes, it is. It kind of is. Okay, so I was making a banana nut bread, and I had some hot chocolate packets that I was putting away. And one of the packets ripped open, just like a little Swiss Miss envelope of hot cocoa. And so I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? So instead of throwing it away, I put it in my banana nut bread batter and it was delicious. Now, normally I will add a packet of oatmeal to my banana nut bread and that was good. So when I saw this chocolate oatmeal, I was like, that's perfect. That is perfect. So the next time I make banana bread, I bought these to put in there to see um, how I will like it. Cause I don't like oatmeal. It's the texture. It's too slimy. It looks like snot or something. So it's always been something that if I ate it, you know, I'm desperate. And the only times that I force myself to eat it is like in the winter when it's really, really cold and you want something to warm you up. And even then it has to be loose. It can't be thick and lumpy and all that. So basically I just don't eat it because my mother made us eat a lot of hot cereal growing up and I just hate them now. But um, even though they're good for you, they help us healthy, but I just, ugh, I don't like them. Um, but I do like oatmeal when I put it in cookies. And that's another thing. You could use this in a um, chocolate chip cookie mix because I put uh, oatmeal in my chocolate chip cookies along with chocolate chips and coconut. Those are my standards that I put like to add into my baked goods. So this uh, would even go good in a, a batter of chocolate chip cookies. So I'll probably try that as well. Now, the other food item I got, this is a repeat purchase to let you guys know. I, I think I did already, but just in case I hadn't. I wasn't sure about this brand because I always bought Barilla and I just felt like nothing can compare to Barilla. And then when I saw these, and it's like they're trying to entice you with 25% more because they're probably no good. Well, au contraire, I tried these and they are delicious. I really like them so much that I went and bought some more. Um, they're really good. The only suggestion, if you cook these, cook it a minute or two less than what is recommended so that they stay firm. And um, they're really good. In fact, I just made some spaghetti today using the elbow ones, not the panne, but the elbow ones. And it's delicious, so I would totally buy those again. Now, the last thing I have, and then we can get up out of here, are these, um, they have these new flower pots in these nice light or different colors. In this case, this nice light color, a nice size. And I got these to use when I'm making gifts so that I can have different containers to put them in. Hey, Sandra, how are you? I am doing well today. I am doing very good, and I'm almost finished with this haul. I think you always kind of catch me at the end, um, but welcome. It's good to see you. I haven't uh, done a haul in the time that I'm supposed to be doing one in a long time, but I kind of moved to the late night because it was just easier to fit in my schedule, but I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, but the last two items are two more of these flower pots, and look at this nice brown color. This is a color you'd never really see in a flower pot. And the reason that I thought this was cool, because if you wanted to do like a bigger gift with this, um, with one of these uh, mugs and cookie things in the t-shirt and put some other stuff in it, this is a great masculine or male color. So it's not foo-foo if you have a gift 
that's not fufu and you're looking for a container. And then the last one, same thing, is that same idea is this one. I've never seen like a maroon. This is not that normal terracotta. It's like a nice red maroonish color. It's not necessarily red. It's not necessarily maroon, but it's like a mix between the two. And look at how this mug, if you wanted to make a bigger gift and you needed a container, look at how that blends. And you could put it all up in here. So that, my friends, is all that I have today. So that was pretty short. I guess it was a few things, but not as much as I normally would have. Um, but I didn't want to sit on those. I really wanted to show you the mug idea. Um, but yeah, I was uh, going to share with you why I have been coming on late night is because I've been up in the middle hours of the night in my sleep um, pattern was off. It was like a lot of times my sleep will go from sleepy during the day, awake at night, and then I'll catch up and I'll be on schedule where I'm sleepy at night and then I'm alert during the day like now. So when my, and I don't know why that happens, but when my schedule changes like that and I'm just up all night and I have a haul to do, that's why I said, well, let me just go in there and be productive. So that's why I was doing some of those late night ones. But today, as you see, I'm wide awake and it's about 5.29 and I've got time now to go give Lacey a walk and it's only been 31 minutes and for me that's short because I tend to yap yap yap. <laughs> so on that note, unless you guys have anything, any questions, anything you wanted to ask me, it's not that many of you here now, but in case you did, um, unless you have something, I guess I will call it a uh, a day or a night, an evening or whatever time it is you're watching this, but remember, Win One Wednesday, you have to put the comment on both videos, the Win One Wednesday video and the linked one. And the easiest way to remember is when you put that comment on the Win One Wednesday video, cut, paste, or copy, paste, go to the link video and put it right over there. That's the easiest way I can explain it to you so that you guys will do it right. And everybody, let's make an effort this week to have everybody who enters do it correctly so that new people can win. I don't mind the regulars, but we got people winning every week. I've had someone win three times. That was like 15 bucks. It's not going to, you know, pay their mortgage or anything, but that's $15 just for putting two comments on videos. So I would love to see everybody win. I would love to see new people win. And I would love to see everybody enter correctly so that they can have a, the same opportunity to win as everybody else. Um, and again, it's been 30 weeks of doing my Win One Wednesday. So I'm pretty proud of that. I know it's still in the growing stages. And this too, you know, it'll change. It'll grow. Um, if you're watching this video, enter to win money. That's all it's about. I want to give back to you guys for giving your time to me. And I have committed to doing that. I enjoy doing it. And I want more people to um, partake of it. So that way, as the channel grows, I can increase the amount of money as the channel grows and the subscriber grows. But right now, we're just kind of even kill. And I'm okay with that, too, because that's probably all I can handle, really. But on that note, you guys have a great evening. And I will see you in the next video. And I hope you are all doing well. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video or if you like what you saw in this video. And if you have any comments, suggestions, anything that you want me to know or want me to try and do for you, just drop it in the comments and I will see what I can do. So I will talk to you soon and I am signing off right now. So let me see, where do I do that? We say all this big build up and then we're still on camera. So it's kind of like a, it just kind of kills it. So anyways, this is how you're supposed to do it. So I'm signing off and I will see you guys in the next video. And I am signing off right now.